tell the fours, wait a minute, I'm coming. Gotta speak things into existence. Shade. That's how you let the universe know your intentions. God already wrote it, so he patient. He, you either come place it or come take it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. Today's video is um, a trade breakdown that I took this past Wednesday. Um, I'm a little late because I should have uploaded this like Friday, but we here, so it doesn't matter. But um, I also broke my record with this trade. This is a, another beautiful trade, and I did it on US 30, bro, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to break down everything that I saw, um, what influenced this trade, and why I took this trade. So, I'm going to take all this stuff off so we can walk through everything that I saw. So, I looked at the four hour. I zoomed out a little bit. And I saw that this swing low um, got destroyed. So, they basically grabbed liquidity right here with this swing low. And make it a little bit more perfect, but whatever. This little um, break of structure right here grabbed this liquidity right here. Now, I don't immediately think that just because it broke a low that it's going to immediately shoot up in this area. This area right here have to consolidate or show me um, bullish strength. Like it have to show me that it wants to break up. So I have to start seeing some aggressive buying up in this area. So if I go to the 15 minute, let's take this off. So we already have that in our head that um, this move right here, this whole move was a liquidity grab to grab those um, lows on the four hour, okay? Well, you probably can't see it on, well that's the daily. Right there, that little swing low right there. I mean, that break of structure was liquidity grab. Now we go to the 15 minute. I also see, take this off. I also see this. Now, what is this? This low dipped lower than this low. So, again, this is the same thing that I did on um, that Euro USD when I flipped $50 to 1000 this was the same setup like if you go back to that video you will see that this is the same setup okay so they grab liquidity down here and once i saw that i went to the five minute now i went to the five minute i saw aggressive buying right here so i'm like okay we got aggressive buying it could potentially come back in to get more investors in to shoot it up so if you go to the 15 minute this right here is like a little mini range it's like a little mini range, okay? Now, we know for a fact that liquidity, oh, let me take that off. We know for a fact that liquidity is sitting up here. Now, we know that the four hour and the 15 minute just grab liquidity at the bottom. They just got the lows. So what's next? The highs. So let's go back to the five minute. So as I saw this aggressive buying coming from over in this area, I had a buy limit no oh, crap come on trading view okay so I had a buy limit up in this area so if, if it came back into this area I'm gonna get in regardless okay so let's fast forward so right there that was my entry right there so like up in here roughly I'm gonna put a screenshot on this video somewhere so you can see exactly where I got in at because I posted this win on my Instagram story I wish I would have caught it live but you can't predict you're gonna have like a great day. Like you just, we just don't know if you're gonna have a, a beautiful day. So um, yeah, I'll show you the targets later. But yeah, so I got in down here. I put my stop loss underneath here, underneath this low. Now this is risky because look at the time. Let me move this out the way. Look at the time, 9.30. So I got in aggressive on the New York Stock Exchange open. You know how risky that is? This whole low could have got blasted through. You know, but it was it was a risk I was willing to take because I'm only risking what 30 pips down here and my target was this swing high. My target was this for a fact. Like it was above these highs. Um so I got in right there and it dipped a little bit low. It, it tried to scare me with this one. This candle tried to scare me, but once I saw that this candle broke. This candle broke below the previous and then broke above. I was confident to hold it. Okay. So after that, the rest was history. And I got out somewhere up in here. Um, 
yeah this was this is a beautiful trade this is really just textbook again because we got liquidity right here um it, it sprung up a little bit and then it came back down to retest and then that was the entry to get in and then if you look at the four hour it basically the exact same thing dip below to shoot up and there was long-term targets so this trade let me go to the 15 minute and probably look my cleaner so this trade right here we also have supply aggressive selling coming from out of there so that could have been a long-term target to hold to but i'm a scalper so i was just just trying to just get my money and go i think i was in this trade for how long let me see how long was i in this trade so this is 5 10 15 20 Oh, okay like 20 minutes 25 minutes and yeah that was it like i was done they got they got the swing highs people stop losses up here and i got out up in here so um yeah about 25 minutes and that was a 400 win i'm not not for 4100 win my bad and yeah that was just a beautiful day like i was we're literally moving with the banks like when you start seeing momentum like this you're moving with the sharks in in the market like you are but um yeah so long-term targets up here that could have been long-term target because order started over here but i didn't i didn't hold it i didn't hold it at all i did not hold it let's see if it get up there it might not yeah it didn't get up there but this is definitely a target that is going to get up there soon it's definitely gonna get up there soon. I'm gonna see if it did it get up there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Mm. And this could have been a sale too. So um, yeah, this is supply. So as it wicked up, people was looking to buy, but us traders we're looking to sell. So you know, this is just another the same thing. This is literally the exact same thing. And then you got liquidity up here. And then you would have took the sell to go down. So um yeah, this was a this was a beautiful trade. Um yeah, everything played out exactly how it was supposed to play out. Um they they it came from a downtrend, consolidating, building up orders. Um showed the market showed its hand on the five minute. That's why I like the five minute because you can see a little bit more information. Like higher time frames, like that's cool, but you can really get more information on lower time frame. That's why I like the five minute. Um, I, I do mess with the 15, but the five minute, it shows me a lot of information. So yeah, this is just a beautiful, beautiful trade. Um, some of y'all caught this. Like, let, let me know in the comment section if y'all caught this move down here, especially at the beginning of the move. And um, where did y'all get out at? Because I got out a little bit above um, breaking this structure right here, as far as this liquidity. And then if you notice, like this is areas to fill too, over here. They had to fill this in regardless. So this could have been another good target to um, lead a runner. Like, you could have got out somewhere up in here. And, yeah, that would have been a good trade. But, uh, yeah, this was a, this is another um, a best. This is my best day so far. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep going, man. It's Sunday. We got to prep up for this week, man. There's more money to be made. Um, we got to kill it, man. A lot of people lost a lot of money on gold. You got to recuperate, man. You got to look back and see what you could have done better, especially with risk management. I don't understand why people are blowing their accounts. Stop over leveraging. Like, it's just that simple. Put more money in your account or just practice good risk management. That's the main thing. It shouldn't have been no blown accounts, especially off of that drop. It's still, you shouldn't have blown your account. You shouldn't have. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I got, man. I hope y'all gained some value from this uh, trade breakdown. Um, Yeah, that's all I got, man. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm gonna be honest. I really feel like I'm forgetting something, but whatever. So I got peace and love.